Right, it's the 28th of March, just after Easter, well it's Easter Monday actually, the sun's shining now but we've had some bad weather over the weekend. Uh, because of the, the way things have gone over the last couple of weeks, well, I haven't been very well, I'm a, I'm a bit behind now with sorting my birds out, but if you remember in the last video, I've took some ends down to the bird room, they're getting ready now, and I shall pick some cocks out of these ones here, in, through the week. These ones down here, these are the goldies and canaries from muling, so they'll be all going in separate. If I take you through here, if you can see into this area here, I can't get in at the moment because this cage is there. I've opened the flood completely up. The Siberian bullfinches are in there and the Siberian goldfinches with uh, another pair of English uh, goldfinches. They'll uh, actually I'll have a walk down and try and get a bit more footage. You can't see a lot through these shutters at the moment, but what's happening now? All that surplus fat they've got on them over the winter with the, the length of the ivory. There's the cock bird here. They'll lose all that surplus fat coming into the breeding season. And uh, as you can see, it's all been cleaned down in here. We had some really heavy rain last night, which I've uh, just got to dry off the floors off. And I shall put all the foliage up on there, up where you can see that green mesh. You can see a little bit there, but that'll be all full of that foliage all the way along in the next couple of weeks for the for the British birds to uh, start pairing up and start building, hopefully. Now we'll go into the bird room. As I say, I brought some hens up here this morning. It's lovely and warm here. That's a nice red factor hen. And into the next cage. Another nice little red factor hen. And down there, nice red factor hen. Little uh, diamorphic hen. Another diamorphic hen here. And another diamorphic in here. So we've got three diamorphics. I'll call well, three pairs of diamorphics on the bottom when I bring the cocks up. And three red factor pairs at the top. I haven't decided yet what to do in here. In this flight part here. I don't know whether to put the Siberians in here or the bullfinches. But there's a bit way off for them yet. They don't go down properly till May. Uh, and I'll decide which pair to put in there if I do have to decide to put Siberians or the Siberian Goldies in. Uh, I'm thinking uh, of possibly putting a pair of, uh, uh, putting the, the Goldfinch Cocks in with two Hen Canaries in there and just watch them for a bit and then cage them up separate. But like I say, there's, I don't get down till about the middle of uh, April. I shall, I shall introduce the cocks the middle of this week. Let them get used to the hens. And then uh, I shall introduce the nest bowls and gradually bit of material here and there. Start them off on a little bit of tiny uh, soft food. And as they start building and getting ready to lay, they'll be used to the egg food then. And just keep it at a small a small portion at a time till they start uh, having young and then just increase it. So that's where we are here on this section. Uh, as I say out there in the ivories it's there's a bit more work to do out there this week but I shall get all that ready and then it'll all, I should be all up and running properly by the weekend. But as I say I'm going to hold them back till the middle of uh, April. So it's only a quick video. And I'll be back with you soon into the breeding season and see how much progress we've got. Uh, and I can keep you informed with each pair that's building and nesting and hopefully laying. And I'll speak to you all soon. So I'll see you soon.